Do you want to learn to talk about your job in English? Then this is the video for you. I'm going to teach you a number of professions and questions and answer you can use to talk about your job. But first, if this is your first time here, my name's Katie and I make English learning videos. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button for more content. So first, let's learn the name of some professions. So here we can see a man who has a lot of money around him. What do we call this person? We call him a bank manager. A bank manager. Now, a manager is somebody who is in control. They are similar to the boss. So here, we can change this word for any other company or any other profession. But in this example, we say a bank manager. What about this one? So in this one, we have a photo of a hairdresser. A hairdresser. Now, this one has the schwa at the end, hairdresser, up uh, that up uh, sound in English, hairdresser. If you work in a shop and you help people to buy things, we say, I'm a shop assistant, a shop assistant. So I work in a shop and I help people choose clothes or when they're buying items. The next one is a very particular career that not many people get to enjoy. But if you do do this as your job, you can say, I'm a football player. I'm a football player. This is the next one. So this person is a nurse. A nurse. So they work in the hospital and they work with, wait, a doctor. A doctor. Okay, so they also work in the hospital. This is the next one. So somebody who designs and manufactures things, we call them an engineer. An engineer. Listen to the pronunciation. An engineer. Engineer. Good. This one here, we have a builder. A builder. Just like hairdresser, we use the schwa, the uh sound. A builder. I'm a builder. Good. This one here, we have a pilot. A pilot. So here, we pronounce this with an a uh sound, again, like the schwa. A pilot. A pilot. If you play a musical instrument, you say, I'm a musician. A musician. Listen again to the pronunciation. A musician. Musician. Good. If you work in front of the camera, we say, I'm an actor or an actress. So an actor is for a male, for a boy. An actress is for a female or a girl. An actor or an actress. This one here, we have a lot of words that we can use. So let's take a look. We can say a police officer. A police officer. We use officer for men and women. But if we want to talk about one man, for example, we can say a policeman. A policeman. And if it's a woman, we can change that for the word woman. A police woman. A police woman. But as I said, if you want to use either or, you can use a police officer. Then we have someone who works in a hotel, for example. And this person is called a receptionist. A receptionist. Listen again to the pronunciation. Receptionist. A receptionist. Good job. If you work in a restaurant, you can say, I'm a waiter. I'm a waiter. Or a waitress. A waitress. Again, waiter is for a male or man or 
boy and wink dress is used for a female woman or girl. So a waiter or a waitress. Here we can see somebody who works in an office and this person often works for another person in helping to organize and keep things. In this case, we use the word a secretary. A secretary. Listen again to the pronunciation. A secretary. Good job. So this one is for somebody who works at home to take care of their house. And in this case, we can say a housewife. I'm a housewife. And this is used for a woman. If it's the man who stays at home and looks after the house, you can say, I'm a house husband. I'm a house husband. Good job. In this picture, we can see somebody interviewing another person. And this is called a journalist. A journalist. Good. Now, when we become older and we no longer work because we have reached 65 or 70 years of age, we can say, I'm retired. I'm retired, which means now that I'm very old and getting older, I don't work anymore. The opposite side of that is someone who doesn't have a job, but they are studying. So you can say, I'm a student. I'm a student. So, did I say your profession? Write a comment below and let me know what job you do. So now, let's learn some expressions that you may hear or that you can use when talking to someone who's using English. So, actually, in our language, we don't say, what is your job? It's very unusual, it's very uncommon. We usually use, what do you do? What do you do? And this means, what is your job? So let's take a look at an example. I'm a waitress. I work in a restaurant. What about you? Okay, so what do you do means, what is your job? And you can just change the information. For example, I'm a teacher. I work in a school. What about you? I'm a bank manager. I work in the local bank. What about you? So don't forget, what do you do has the same meaning as what is your job. Okay. Now, for a lot of my students here, I know that you are still studying or you're still at university or at college. So what can you say when somebody says, what do you do? Well, this is an example. You could say, actually, which means really, actually, I'm a student, so I'm not working at the moment, but I'm studying to be a doctor. I'll read it again a little bit quicker. Actually, I'm a student, so I'm not working at the moment, but I'm studying to be a doctor. And of course, you can change this noun for whatever you are studying for. But sometimes people will ask, where do you work? Where do you work? And where means the place. So this is not what you do. This is the place where you do it. Okay. So for example, I work in an office. I work in an office. It can be boring sometimes. So here you could describe how you feel. Oh, it can be interesting sometimes, or it can be boring. But here you want to say where you work. And we do that by using work and the preposition in. Okay, I work in a school, I work in a hospital. Let's take a look at some more examples. My dad works in a factory making school supplies. So here, we know the place where her dad works is in a factory. It's the place. Another example. I'd like to work in a school when I'm older. When I'm older. I'd like to work in a school when I'm older. 
or when I finish university. And the last example, I work online. So I work at home or I work from home. So in this case, we have to change the preposition if you work from home or you work at home. You can't say, I work in home. It doesn't make sense in English. So if you do work from home, you can say, I work at home or I work from home. So those are some expressions and different careers and different professions that we use in English. Please comment below if I've spoken about your job or if I haven't, be sure to comment and I can help you figure it out, the English translation. Many thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.